What's up guys, Jake here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a few months since I've uploaded. I hope you all are doing well. I decided to take a little break from uploading videos, but I did not take a break from going on adventures and recording new videos that I cannot wait to share with you all. So in today's video, I got this package right here from Ocean Gate. It was unexpected and I wanted to start off this video by showing you what they sent me. Check it out. So inside the box are two small styrofoam cups. I designed this one right here. I put Titanic 12,600 feet and Kendall did this one. And originally, we designed these over the site of the Titanic in the Atlantic Ocean. So when we went down to the Titanic and the Titan submersible, it would be on the outside. And then the normal cup would actually shrink to the size of a shot glass just like this. So when I got this in the mail, I was a bit confused because my dive was canceled. And I had no idea how these got small. But then I looked at Kindle and I started kind of shaking a little bit. And I realized that these cups were on the outside of the Titan submersible when it imploded, killing five people aboard. So, uh, you know, if these things could tell a story, they could tell us exactly what happened during that day. But they found these at the bottom of the ocean within the wreckage of the Titan submersible and they tracked us down and delivered us to our front door. I had no idea this was coming and it's just a surreal gift. To me, this is a reminder of the good adventure that Kendall and I went on to, you know, go possibly see the Titanic. Although it didn't work out how we planned, it is also a reminder of how precious life is and how fragile everything is. We're gonna keep safe this and put it into a shadow box, but could have been a different story. So you might be wondering, how did I find myself getting back into another submersible? A few months ago, I stumbled upon Mr. Carl Allen's YouTube channel. Mr. Allen is a treasure hunter like myself. However, he's a billionaire and he has some pretty incredible tools and gear to help him find the ultimate treasure out there in the ocean. In the shipwreck they're already finding millions of dollars on, they haven't even hit the main pile, which is estimated to be over a billion dollars worth of sunken treasure. I was like, dude, could you imagine if I get out there and I find that and upload that? I mean, that would be the pinnacle of my treasure hunting career <laughs> so yeah i had to reach out and ask if i can come out and just a few months later i found myself out there in the bahamas hanging out with mr allen searching for some treasure make sure to stay tuned for that video it's coming out very soon but this one's going to be just as special welcome to freeport for your safety please remain seated to the car has come to a complete stop at the gate and the fast seat passenger has been turned off thank you we made it we're in the bahamas all right got our taxi Ready to go. I'm not the taxi. <laughs> on the other side of the road. What? On the other side of the road. Oh, are we? <laughs> wow. Dude, if we would have got a car, my instinct would have drove on the other side. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what you see down there, KJ? Wow, this is so pretty. These people over there are spotting fish as well. We needed our micro poles. Oh my gosh, we would have had so much fun. Shortly after arriving in the Bahamas, I wanted to treat Miss Kendall to dinner. She looked very beautiful in this dress today. Hey, hey, behave, behave, you wearing my feet. Don't get into a room, so behave. All right, yes sir. <laughs> Kendall and Joe are now looking at this bush. They're gonna scan it to see if they can eat the fruit on it. <laughs> I've never heard a description that was more perfectly descriptive of this plant, so I would say probably really good, yeah. Okay, here we go. It says it's delicious. Oh, what's it look like? Wow, it looks like a fig. Kind oh of. my That's god, really 10 good. out of 10. Yeah? <laughs> you have to try one. She drops dead in five minutes. <laughs> <You're> like, Joe! <laughs> You didn't get the right one. It's like a milk tomato. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it looks like a tomato. I mean, it's alright. It's not bad for a garden hedge. Yeet. It's okay. <laughs> I told you, only bring one bag, man. Oh, well, you have the best cameraman in the world. All this camera gear. <laughs> How many bags do you have in this? One bag. Okay, don't tell anyone. Out of all these bags, which one do you think is Joe's? Leave it in the comment section below. Could I'm gonna be pan around. One. It could be this one. It could be that one. It could be this one. It could be that brown one. Which one do you think? The winner will get a free trip to the Bahamas. Oh yeah? Sponsored by Joseph. <laughs> comment below. You're sleeping in the dirt. <laughs> You're sleeping in the dirt. You're rough accommodation. 914. I give it 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh, it's black comp. He'll be just fine. I'll let them. 
What happened? <laughs> I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it looks like a like like an oasis. Look at the birds up there, Jeff. <laughs> All right, we're coming in. We're coming in. First steps into the frigate. Wow, look at this. This is the frigate here. I hope you guys like sushi. We got a bunch of tuna the other day, so we'll be rolling up some sushi rolls and sashimi. Tell me if I'm wrong, but two of you are a couple, right? Yeah. Well, well yeah. All, right? okay. all three, man. Well, the bed's big enough, you know? So, yeah, so this, this is your guys' room here. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make yourself at home. Thank you, bed. man. Wow. Yeah? It's nicer than our bed. <laughs> we are very blessed. Yeah, we are. This is crazy. We're super lucky. Yeah, we are. What an experience. This is truly an experience of a lifetime. I mean, this this I can say that for sure. This blanket? Yeah, we're gonna put that in our backpack to yeah. go home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're gonna steal this. Okay. <laughs> All this. We're gonna steal everything. <laughs> I'll be here for the rest of the day. Okay. I'll see you later. We're having some lunch with Mr. Allen and the family. It's a separate boat. This one's bigger. Even more beautiful. Oh, it's so cold. Ooh. It feels so good. Dang. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Wow. We're going to have a little lunch. It's been beautiful. We're hanging out for a while. I mean, look at this table. The wood is so soft. Are you running? So this boat is called the Frigate. It's what we're gonna be staying on during our trip here in the Bahamas. I'm gonna let you guys know I haven't been in anything quite like this before. It's really pretty, and I was also blown away at having lunch on that yacht. <laughs> pretty crazy, man. First time driving. I just got my license like a couple weeks ago, actually. Uh, yeah, these things, this one's kind of finicky right now. Oh, I know what it is. It's the seat belt. Gotta wear it. All right, it's plugged in. Oh, you should be good. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you hear that shit? It's like skirting. All right, there we go. Emergency brake on? That's kind of what it sounds like. Is that on camera? <laughs> All right, so welcome to Walker's K. This is the marina. We just had a big tournament. That was a bar for that tournament. That is a gantry. That's where they hang fish to weigh them. Um, a couple weeks ago for the tournament, every slip in this marina was full with sport fishing boats. We had Michael Jordan here, Dustin Johnson, to name a few that compete every year. A lot of fun. This will be a big place for tournaments for years to come. So this is like what a typical foundation is going to look like. These are going to be cottages that will overlook the marina. Right now we have, I believe, 16 foundations already laid, as you can see way over there. We got them down that side too to overlook the island and there will be duplex cottages, like a queen room, a king room, all of that. And we're building a bar and restaurant in that area right there that we just drove through. The old owner of this island was somewhat of a treasure hunter himself and found, he found a spot with like, I believe 20 plus cannons. Wow. And he left two of them here and then put the rest back. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, and there's access out there actually, if you can see it. That's where we're gonna do sub dives. See that big boat? Yep. Uh, that's is that it? where the shipwreck is too? There, no, the shipwreck is uh, a couple hours away from here. Mm. Middle of the ocean on the other side. This is the runway. You can't land like normal giant jets on it. Or you can land, you just can't take them off. So it's mostly like caravans, things like that. Those are utility buildings. When we first got here, it was just like these giant slabs of cement. And the old owner had it as he was farming bait fish. And we dug even deeper on it. And it was actually they're rocket launch pads. And so the Apollo missions to go to space, they were first tested here. Like Werner von Braun did all his building and testing on this island. It's pretty nuts. And so yeah, NASA was here, the government had a stint on this island as well. But yeah, so you're looking at, that's where the first rockets that went to the moon started. It's pretty wild, yeah. First one. Yeah, the Apollo mission rockets. We're the northernmost island in the Bahamas. So there's two more little rocks behind it. Those are the last piece of land in the Bahamas in the north side. This is my favorite area, the beach area. They are philanthropy first. They're philanthropy first. It's, uh, yeah, they truly are, they're coming to this country not to 
you know, take advantage of anything. It's really just to rebuild the economy over here on the Northern Abacos. And then we want to, we want to really foster the next generation of archeologists and things like that. And so when you guys went to the museum, there was an education center upstairs. It's for that purpose is to foster the next generation of archeologists. So we're going to start getting them out there to the dive site as well. This is crazy. Like we're hopping from boat to boat. Wow, look at the water. Oh my gosh, it's blue blue. Do you see that? I don't think I've ever seen water that blue in my life. So this is called the Axis. This is like the warship. So when they're going treasure hunting or using the submarine, this is the boat they're gonna use. Michael, good to see you, man. <laughs> we know Jake's a treasure hunter, and that's why we invited him out here so he could see our operation. The reason we actually have the submarine is because the ship we were looking for, the Nuestra Senora de las Maravillas, sank at 6056 in very shallow water. However, much like the Titanic, it split, and we think like a Coke can that it went, the, the stern of it, the stern castle went and floated away. So that's the reason we have the submarine is to go explore those deep areas to see if we can find, for better or worse, word the mother load of the Maravilla that's what we're looking for you know it's very special to get to get to do what we do out here and I'm just excited that you guys are here we get Jake in in a sub dive like this uh, I know he had a different experience last time um, that the whole world saw but today he will have a very pleasant experience and probably want to go in a submarine more and more and more and more and we're just happy to have you there it would probably go to 4,000 feet but we know that 33 is our max a thousand meters which is a magic number and really for what we do, I'm looking, I'm looking up on the banks and stuff. And so this vehicle is perfect. All right, this is the Triton submarine. This is just one of his many tools to go out and explore and help, you know, searching for treasure. Sometimes he says he puts fish right here to see what animals come up and grab it, you know, like big sharks and stuff. Man, uh, shit, I'm so nervous. I really am. This was not planned. I had no idea we were gonna do this. How do you get in? No oh. It's a yellow ladder. Oh, oh, he opened the door. Who's up here? Is Mr. Carl up here? Hey, am I allowed to step up here? I'm gonna step up here. Oh. Hey, did he go there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go up here, but I'm gonna go up here. All right, I'm going up. I'm going up. Yes. Whoa. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here, but I'm taking a look. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Hey, I thought you were pumping out the toilet with this thing. What is that, oh, AC? It's the AC. Oh, yeah? It's the AC. You can hear it. There you go. Hey. Oh, it feels good. Feel good <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this is neat, man. All right, so that was indeed AC blown. It was not <laughs> uh, the system to pump out the toilet. I don't think there's a toilet in there. <laughs> wow, dude, that looks ridiculous. It looks a little bit more complicated than I thought. Like, I didn't. Uh, the other one was so basic and, you know, it just looked like they had only what they needed. Um, like I said, I'm very naive to submersibles, but this one looks pretty top notch. Our Triton is the name of ours, very similar to Titan, but ours is Triton, has never had uh, an accident. Proud of that, proud of Triton. We have a good partnership with them. Uh, this is now my second dive since the incident with Ocean Gate, and uh, you know, we're gonna do everything proper and safe. Uh, we've got safety features all over this sub, and we have contingency plans, which I have changed a little bit since the incident. Uh, long term, you know, this is a small community that we have here, and those deaths will probably save people's lives uh, someday the way that we realize now we probably need some more regulations. I'm so proud. I've had 700 different people in that submarine, and that's my favorite thing to do is see people's faces when they climb out of it. When you get below 150 feet in this country, you're seeing something that no human has ever seen before because you're below the diving depth, especially at four or 500 which is magnificent. I believe someday we will stumble on a ship with that thing. I'm using my services, not for my own company today, for Scuba Jake's own videos. <laughs> <laughs> you flying a drone? I'm flying a drone on a submarine. It's a pretty wild sentence. It's flying a drone mm -hmm. about a yacht and a submarine. Riding like a horse. <laughs> so it's time for Kendall and I to get in the submarine. You guys ready? I think Let's so. Do this. 
Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Out in front of us there too. All right. All right. Oh, we're moving. Wow, oh, yeah. smooth. Look at this. Oh, yeah. oh gosh, we're going under right now. Facing our fears right now. I will tell you that. Kendall and I are a bit nervous. Good. I I will say if you're not a little bit nervous your first time, you're crazy. Absolutely. I wasn't nervous my first time. Wow, look at that. It's so pretty. Ooh. All right, let's go find a great white. Oh look, there's a diver over there. Uh, how about that? Yeah. You guys see him? Let me feel me get you. Look at this thing. I'm shaking. Yeah. Look at him. This is honestly insane. We have two divers around us. When you're looking out, it's not quite like you're, you know, you're down there scuba diving. It has a weird effect with the glass. Just, everything looks smaller and everything looks much closer than it is. We're actually probably only about, you know, I don't know, a foot off the bottom here. Yeah, oh look, there's a little sand dollar that went by. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look, little fish right there. Yeah, yeah. Look at the view we have in here. 360 degrees. So beautiful. It's a really cool shot if What's you look back. <laughs> you hard. Yeah, you do that one. Both of y'all's hearts. This button is a vent, and water comes in through that really fast. <laughs> Both of y'all's hearts drop so fast. It's not uh, funny. A little funny. What is that? What is it? Some. That was weird. Oh, look, there's a little fish right there. You see him catching? Oh, look at that one. It's a sand dollar. Oh, a little it's sand perfect. dollar. That's cool. So theoretically, if that was a gold bar, you can just reach oh, out and grab no, it. Oh, we would have already picked it up. <laughs> can I get clear as the surface? Clear to surface, surfacing now. Ah, wow, that's cool. Oh my god. Wow. Beautiful. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. That. We did it! <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. You helped us conquer a little fear. Good, uh, good. Yeah, that, that meant a lot to me. Yeah, I appreciate absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. That was super special. I was pretty nervous. Are you crying? No. Uh, oh, baby. Uh, Are you okay? Okay. Make a run for oh, baby girl. Okay. You said it. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a very emotional experience. It's very cool. Um, you know, we just went through the whole Titanic thing and just a lot of emotions, but very grateful for this experience. This was very cool and I'm glad we were able to do that together. Love you. Love you. I'll be honest, I never thought I'd ever get in a, a submersible ever again. I just wrote it off and then we randomly came here and Mr. Allen's like, do you want to go in one? And I was like, I don't know. Like it was just a spur of the moment thing. And he allowed us to kind of have a conclusion to our story of our very first, you know, true submersible experience. It was amazing. I really appreciated it. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes, yeah, they're right here. Uh, Can you see my eyes? <laughs> no. Hey, you know what I'm seeing out there? Oh, shoot. Sorry for stepping on your shoe, Joe. <laughs> my shoe? Oh, oh it's your, that's your toe. <laughs> like this video so Mr. Allen will invite me back so I can make more treasure hunting videos. Thank you. <laughs>